and welcome everybody. Good to have you today. Uh, Doc is with me here in the studio. I'm Brother Dan Goodwin. And uh, Doc, a lot going on. We're going to talk about Israel a little yeah. bit in this program today. I've got a verse I'm going to read in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 32. Very familiar verse yes. uh, to most of our listeners, I'm sure. And it says this. Of course, Matthew 24 is mainly to Israel. Um, now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise, ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. And uh, Israel's the, the, really the center of prophecy. It is, yes. I mean, to, order, to understand prophecy, you've got to, yeah. got to look at it through Israel's standpoint. The old-time preachers, I'm, I used to hear this all the time, the old-time preachers used to say, you want to know where we are in, on the time, uh, or the, or in the end times? Keep your eyes on mm -hmm. Israel. And, yeah. uh, and they were saying that even before Israel became a nation. Yeah. M.R.D. Hahn, I've got a book of his from 1947, one year before mm -hmm. the Israel became a nation officially, I think May 14th. Uh, right. 2000, uh, 1948, um, he was writing about that. He said, one day uh, man will, 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 will make it to the moon, he said. <laughs> he said, one day man will travel faster than the speed of sound, which is, what, 800 miles an hour or I something don't. like that? It ain't much compared to what they have no, now. No, not today. Uh, and he said, one day Israel will be back in the land. Mm -hmm. He was one year ahead of that. And uh, he, he, was a, he was a guy that saw things. That's what the fig tree is talking about here, is yep. Israel, yes. Yeah, so a lot of people have, have felt like 1948 is that budding of the fig tree, and it may be. I'd say I, I personally feel that it is because it fits with the birth pains that the Lord talked about in Matthew that you're reading there of the wars and the rumors of wars because he uses... He uses two different words there in Greek. One is talking about one kind of war, and the other is a global type of war. So I think World War I, which was the first birth pain because that brought about the Balfour Declaration. Yeah. And then World War II brought about Israel as a nation again. Yeah. So I think those birth pain processes, even though it was a world thing, it was to set the stage for Israel and end time prophecy. Now what's interesting, and we've talked about this in a prior show, um, 1948 to 2023 is the 75th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And I think that's pretty interesting. And we yes. did a show about the diamond. Yes, not long ago. Diamond anniversary. Mm -hmm. And the diamond's the one of the hardest stones yeah. out there. And, and you're going to read a verse for you in a minute, uh, for us in a minute, from Zechariah, which is probably right. some of that stuff. But uh, well, Israel is, uh, of course, they're back in their land. They're back in Jerusalem. They're, uh, I mean, they're working on the temple project. I mean, all kinds of prophecy is being fulfilled around Israel. The red heifers, yes, is red there, heifers, and one of them has been found unqualified. There's still four, mm -hmm. and uh, we've we've did some shows about that. And, uh, yeah. you know, most people, the red heifer thing doesn't mean much to them, but it, it is kind of important as far it as is. the Old Testament economy Be of ceremonial yes. law. Because without it, an, a third temple would not be set aside or sanctified. And so that's, let, that's what it's required. Let's to go ahead aside. and make something very clear for, for the audience here. Every now and then somebody criticizes us. Uh, what do they need to say? Oh, every for? once in a while we get criticized? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Now, you and I both understand that the temple's not God's will. No. The veil was ripped in two. That's right. Because that's over. That was ceremony. That was figurative. It, yes. it helped them understand the way to heaven. And it's over. But we also know the Bible says they're going to reinstitute it because yes. Israel is still in blindness. They still have rejected right. Christ. The temple's not God's will. And I tell people all the time, quit sending money to build the temple. Yeah, they, it's not. It's, they don't need any more yeah. money. They got it all taken but, care of. And we shouldn't be financing this thing. No. Why the temple is important and why we talk about it in the prophecy world is because we understand that it's talked about in the end That's time. That's right. Both. And it's and we understand from I think Revelation 11 or somewhere in there, it talks about the fact that they're going to have the temple. Right. Well, uh, Jesus referred to it because he was talking about Daniel's prophecy of the oblation ceasing. 
and the abomination. Yep. And, uh, uh, and then Paul is going to talk about it to the folks at Thessalonica, uh, the yep. middle of the tribulation, abomination of desolation. Yep. Uh, so in order for that to happen, there has to be another yeah. temple. And that doesn't mean that we're saying that God wants them to have a temple. That, no. That's not true at all. God's the one that rent the veil into. That, that was over. Right. But the thing is, they're going back well, under Well, redemption, that. as you've often been saying, redemption was long before the law, uh, and, it's, go, and yeah. it's after the law, and, and redemption is going to make its way all the way through uh, to the end of the millennial reign. Yeah. And uh, so... Um, so it's plain that there is going to be a temple. They're yes. going to have the temple sacrifices going again. The Antichrist in the middle of tribulation is going to enter that temple. And I believe it's at that moment that he declares, hey, I'm him. Mm -hmm. and, and, and at the same time, out in, outside, the 144,000 Jewish men who are assembled because the Bible says they have yeah. to, under the law, under the ceremonial law, they're out there. Because three times in a year, all the men had to be right. there. That's one of them. The, the evening Passover ends becomes unleavened bread. They had to be there for yep. that. Um, and they're there. And the two witnesses have been dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I believe somewhere around Passover is probably right. when the Antichrist, when he goes in, he probably kills them on, on the way in. It may be. Um, you know, we're not 100% sure he does that or how. But we do know that they're killed. They're left in the streets on purpose right. for everyone to see. They get the cameras are rolling. Oh, the entire uh, world will see. Yeah, just like every eye shall see. Mm -hmm. When he comes the second time, every eye right. is going to see them two guys. And they're named. It's, it's uh, in Matthew 17. Seems to be to me. I just yeah. preached on this the other night. I said, why are we still fighting over Enoch? Yeah. The Bible tells us who the two guys are. I agree. Matthew 17. Yeah. I mean, what's that all about? Why is Moses, you know, Peter, James, and John go up. Yeah. Well, they come down. It's, those are the two witnesses. Tra tradition is too often it's, more powerful than it facts. It is. It is. <laughs> and, and something we've been taught all of our life is hard to It's hard to, to turn loose of. And we're all, we yes. all have to struggle with yes. that. Yes. And but uh, Israel, uh, uh, the temple will be rebuilt. Everything for it is there. I mean, all the tra everything's ready to go. Yeah. I, only thing keeping it back, I think, is the rapture. Yeah. Boy, that would make a good show, Doc. What changes? Oh, a lot rapture? of things are going to change today after the rapture. Yeah. See, yeah. there's a whole bunch of things we haven't done this yet. I've, I've said many times, we're going to do a show about what happens at the middle of the yeah. tribulation. <laughs> and we haven't done that we yet haven't. either. <laughs> I mean, that, there's a whole list of stuff that happens right there at the middle. But, at the, but at the, when the trumpet sounds and we're removed, that's a pretty big deal. Yes. There's a lot, a lot of things Well, change. the world will be... I don't think there'll be as many people go as we might think, uh, but there will be quite a stir, no doubt about it. Yeah. Uh, whatever that great delusion that's going to sweep the world, I, I'm not certain, but I, I've got my guess as to many things that play into that. But it'll be an easy opportunity if that's closely re related to Ezekiel 38. It'd be really easy for that one man to yeah. step into that position and say, here it is. Yeah. Because the world leaders have already made it plain for uh, at least two decades now uh, that you give us a man that can solve these problems and be an economic leader for us, be a, be a god or the devil, we, we, we're behind him. Yeah. And so it won't be hard for, I think there'll be a, a quandary, you know, people are going to say, where'd they all go? Well, I'm sure something's going to convince them that the aliens probably took us in a spaceship. Yeah, and, and, and I've believed that for many years. Uh, that We've been beamed it's up. It's going to be blamed on UFOs. <laughs> we will be beamed up, but it won't be the same. By the way, as that's, doing that's it. on the rise again. Yeah, there's there's yeah. new reports coming out on. Oh, on yes, news every day. They're, all, they're saying that the government's released some more stuff, and it's, yeah. it's nothing but a, but a bunch of fables nothing and nonsense. Somebody sent me a thing on Facebook. Uh, uh, about all these sounds being heard all over the world and whatnot. And you know, it's been a while. I remember that a few years yeah, ago. Now is that it's, back or something? No, this is new. It just happened this week. It's I have been heard, heard in various places in the world from Alaska. Now it's being heard uh, for, I think it was like seven minutes across Israel. The, uh, hey, I, I don't put anything past the ability of technology yeah. and world governments today. Yeah, and the deception and uh, yeah. trickery. And people are so easily deceived. 
because it's people are wanting to believe something strange like that. Yeah. They really are. They're well, looking. that's why ministries that are in the esoteric areas and, and all of this stuff outside of the Bible gather such a large following because that's what people want. Yeah. But that's one of the things the Bible said in the last days that heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Yeah. You know, so and, the teacher and, will give them what they and, want to hear. And turned unto fables. Yes. Yes. So, so, Doc, the other thing here, and we want to talk about an event that just happened in Israel, but the other event is 1967. Yes. 1948, they, they, mm -hmm. they become accepted and looked upon as a, a, right. a nation. Um, our, our country was the, one of the first to acknowledge yes. them right. as, as, a, as a, a country. Um, but, but something big happened in 1967, True. and that is the taking of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Even the Temple Mount that day. Yeah. And there's a, there's a, I think the same guy who blew the trumpet in 48 blew the trumpet. He was a lot older, obviously, blew the shofar in 67. I, think I don't I've know. I've not heard that. I think, I, I think I understood that. I could be wrong, but 67 um, is a pretty important happening. Yes. And I don't have time to go into it all. There's some miracles that happened that oh, year. Oh, many, many. The fact that, that Jordan got into the war by, by being fooled and, and misunderstanding something, they suddenly got in the war. They had, Jerusalem belonged to Jordan. Yeah. And because they got in it, Israel took, fought them and, and they had Jerusalem. Yeah. And uh, the Six Day War. Yeah. And Jerusalem's pretty important. You know, what's Israel without Jerusalem? Well, I mean, Jerusalem has to be under their third control uh, for in time Bible prophecy yeah. to be fulfilled. So take a second and explain what, what you know about what just happened. I know well, we only got two minutes, but... Well, what happened... Uh, in, in Israel. In this, Israel is uh, the Knesset, the leadership, political leadership. Uh, several years ago, decision was made to allow, which allowed the Supreme Court to become more powerful. And what it's done, it's developed into an entity outside of the political leadership that's elected by the people, that non-elected people now through the Supreme Court can circumvent yeah. the leadership. And all that they're trying to do is bring it back so that an entity of non-elected people doesn't have the ability the, to stop the government from protecting its people. And, and, but it's amazing how one people One of the are clauses that's in that is they can do whatever they think is, un, if something they think is unreasonable. Right. Well, what does that mean? Well, that, if that you were a liberal, their anything opinions. you and I think yeah. would be unreasonable. And that's why the people are rioting is because it's but the they liberal don't even crowd. know. Yeah. The greater majority of the, it's just like the Antifa bunch over here, brother. Most of them is paid to get out in the street and do what they yeah. do. Yeah. They don't even know what's going on themselves. Yeah. They're just looking for the next weed to smoke. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going on, uh, or at least it went on yeah. already. And I understand that it passed. Uh, they, uh, yeah. I think on the way here, yeah. my wife said that she saw it on pop I didn't up. see. I knew that it was going to be. Of course, Bibby just got out of the hospital with yeah. a new pacemaker. And um, our country is on the verge under our present leadership of turning our back on Israel. Yeah. We're getting ready, as I was going to read in, in Zechariah chapter 12, those who get involved in it go cut themselves to pieces. We're getting ready, if we're not careful, to see more of the hand yeah. of God's judgment upon us. Well, folks, that's all the time we've got today. Thanks for listening in today, whether by radio or here on YouTube. Find us at prophecyinthespotlight.com and check out all the videos we have there. Until next time, keep your eyes on them skies.